Welcome back. I'm Poppy Harlow in New York. And this morning, top Democrats in the House Judiciary Committee are calling for an emergency hearing on hate crimes and domestic terrorism. They sent this letter just yesterday to the chairman of their committee. Joining me now is one of the members of the House Judiciary Committee, Congressman Ted Lieu of California. Good morning, Congressman. Uh, I'm glad you're with us on what has been a series of very, very sad weeks for this country. Uh, in this letter, let me read part of what, what you and your fellow Democrats say. You say, quote, it fails us. It falls on us, rather, to begin the hard work of answering questions left in the wake of violence. There is a cost to an action as well. If you get this hearing, what do you hope it accomplishes? Uh, thank you, Poppy, for your question. Let me first say that my heart goes out to the victims of terror this past week. Mm -hmm. uh, they and their families remain uh, in my thoughts. We would like to have this hearing, and it's something we've been calling for for quite a while. After the white supremacist mob event in Charlottesville, we asked for a similar hearing. And that's because the House Judiciary Committee has jurisdiction over hate crimes, religious freedom, and civil liberties. Mm -hmm. And all of these are under attack in the United States. And we want to have a hearing to see how we can make these issues better, not worse. You know, as, as you know, and it, it, uh, it struck me reading it this morning on Sunday, we also saw gun, gun, uh, a round of gunshots fired into a Florida Republican Party office uh, overnight Sunday into Monday morning. Um, what's your reaction to that as well? And would that also be covered in this hearing? Yes, the jurisdiction of the House Judiciary Committee also goes to gun violence. We should look at the epidemic of gun violence in America. Unfortunately, the Republicans that have controlled the committee have chosen to focus on irrelevant issues like Hillary Clinton's emails. I think it's time we actually do hearings on issues that matter to Americans. I think that is an issue that also mattered to Americans, but both things can be done at the same time. Congressman, I hear you. Um, let's talk about today in Pittsburgh, uh, the funeral begin at 11 a.m. today for the 11 souls uh, that we lost in that tragic shooting over the weekend. The president will be in Pittsburgh this afternoon. Uh, the mayor of Pittsburgh has said, wait, don't come yet. But the rabbi of the synagogue, as you know, has said, look, the president is welcome anytime. Are you glad to see the president making the visit today? I believe the president of the United States should be able to go anywhere that he wants. But what's more important is instead of using rhetoric that's divisive, I hope mm -hmm. that the president tries to unify our nation. And I look forward to hearing what the president has to say. That's interesting because, you know, the fact is that a number of leaders in Congress and the Senate and the House, Republicans and Democrats, um, have declined the White House invitation to go with the president today. But you believe it is, you're okay with the president going to Pittsburgh today? Uh, again, I believe the president should be able to go wherever he wants, but mm -hmm. what's more important is what does the president say? Mm -hmm. And this is a president that has, in his rhetoric, condoned or suggested violence. He said it's okay, basically, to body slam a reporter. He's tweeted a video of CNN being body slammed. That is not okay. He's crossed the line repeatedly. Now is the time for him to try to unify the nation. I hope he tries to do that. I want your reaction to this exchange this morning. The rabbi of the Tree of Life Synagogue was on with our colleague Allison Camerata this morning. Listen to this. What do you say to people who criticize you for opening your doors to the president at this time? I've received many emails that um, uh, are not happy with those words. Um, the thing that saddens me is those emails also contain hate. And it just continues in this vicious cycle. Hate, promulgating more hate, promulgating more hate. And that's just not the solution. We need to be better than this. We can be better than this. Is he right? We can be better than this all around, that he got messages of hate for welcoming the president today? Yes, I believe we can all do better in America. Now, the president does have a unique role. He's a leader of the free world of our country. And Donald Trump has three main jobs, to keep us safe, to make us feel safe mm -hmm. and to unify our nation. He's largely failed at all of those, but it doesn't mean that he can't reverse himself and try to heal our nation. I hope he tries to do that today. Do you think he can do that? Do, I mean, do you think that right. um, given the words the president has used, um, given the examples you just laid out uh, when it comes to you know, condoning violence against that reporter, for example, um, can he be the consoler in chief? Is there something that could turn this around? I remember watching Donald Trump's two addresses to Congress. And I remember walking out telling one of my Democratic colleagues, 
You know, that was a pretty good address to Congress. It's made our jobs harder as Democrats to take back the House, but I feel better as an American. I want to see that. I want to see the president do what I've seen him do before when he gave the State of the Union. He certainly can do that for two hours. Hopefully he can expand that and really try to unify our nation instead of blaming scapegoats and trying to divide our nation. Congressman Ted Lieu, I appreciate you being here today. Uh, important. Uh, day, of course, for the for the country and for the people of Pittsburgh as we wait for the president to go there. Thank you. Thank you, Poppy.